All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over setting up um, uh, Google Tag Manager with EverWebinar. So what we're going to do is right now we're in here. We're going to edit this. This is the webinar. We have to go to uh, integrations, integrate a third party tracking system. Um, we're going to get rid of the Facebook pixel code. We're going to get rid of this Sue. We're getting rid of this. Get rid of this. We don't want double fires. What we're going to do is we're going to get the code from Google Tag Manager. Pretty much add it to all of this. Boom, boom, boom. Replay page tracking. Um, registration form. We don't need any of that. So this should work. Um, should be good. Next, just make sure we finish this up. Main dashboard. Now, really, what we're going to do is we have that set up. Now, there's an article really on how to do a lot more of this. So, we're going to set up the lead so they land on the webinar. So, links when they land on the um, when you register that's the page that we're gonna go get so we're just gonna register test this out hey so, dr. TJ um, on here listen I'm putting up a new webinar master class for you hey dr. TJ on here listen I'm putting up a new webinar master class for you if you're a podiatrist so, so, wait, you are wait. so this is the this is the um, waiting room. So the waiting room, and I believe they have this for in the actual article. So waiting room. So the unique Webby code. We have that. Just go thank you forward slash thank you, and this is gonna be D. Let's just make sure that this is the unique Webby code. So essentially, what I'm looking at here is I want to make sure this 85 BBC is not um, it's not gonna change. So we're just gonna look at advanced settings, API custom. So yeah, this Webby code is not gonna change. So what we can do is we can go here. We can do the webinar waiting room, and we're going to do it to some page page views. The page URL is going to contain the forward slash thank you this, and um, so that should be good. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do attended, so people that actually go into into the room. Um, and this is starting at 145, so we're not going to wait. We're going to do direct, direct link. So direct link. So we should be able to do this forward slash live. Um, so this is going to be attended, and we're going to do um, an event. It's going to be a custom conversion. So let me just set up this one second. Let me just do Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager. I'm just going to go get it from another one of my clients. I'm going to pass that through. So that is from here. We're going to go to Tags. We're going to go to Attended. We're going to copy this. We're going to do new FB dash attended. Facebook tag configuration is going to be custom HTML. And for some reason, um, Facebook changed this. So we're getting rid of webinar. We're just going to have it be one word. Um, we're going to trigger it when they land on. So attend. Um, 
that's going to be the page view. So the page URL is going to contain that um, that URL we were just looking at. So that's going to be this. So that should be good. We're going to save that. We're going to save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop a pixel depending on how long they actually um, attend for. So we're going to go back. So, so people who actually saw the offer. So we're going to take this. It's a custom event. We're going to do um, FB dash saw offer. Facebook configuration, custom HTML. We're going to change this to the one word. Saw so offer. It's going to trigger on. We're going to do a time trigger. Saw so offer timer. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to do a timer. So now what we have to do is just see when the. Well, we'll take this again. It's going to be the page URL contains the same thing, but we want to do it based on a timer. So we need to see when he's actually dropping the offer. And you can go into here and um, see it. So live product offers, edit, and you can see it drops one hour and three minutes into it. So. 63 minutes, 63 minutes into milliseconds. So that's 3.78 million. We're going to have to get rid of the actual commas. The limit's going to be one, and boom. So there you go. That's the saw offer timer. That's all good. Let's refresh this. It should be good to go. And Facebook should be good. We're just going to preview this and just make sure everything fires. So we go here. Hey, Dr. TJ, I'm here. Pixel Listen, fires. I'm putting up a new webinar masterclass for you. If you're a podiatrist, and great you are registered fires. for this webinar i am so excited so the lead fires and then we're going to go we're going to go back to the webinars we're going to go directly to it and we're going to make sure that this actually fires so attended you can see um and if that if that means that it's attended that works then what we can do is as well is the the saw offer timer should should fire and then the last thing is going to be so people that add to cart is going to be they go to the calendar app which is this let's just make sure it's a clean link so this is calendar I'm just going to call it calendar and we're going to update this to calendar let me just see if that works. So that works. So forward slash calendar is going to be add to cart. So we're going to do FB dash add to cart. Facebook custom HTML. Um, we're going to go back to add to cart. Wherever that is e-commerce add to cart we're going to copy this to clipboard and then i'm recording right now what's up take a picture of your all right. Do all it today right. all right well, um so so we got the add to cart we're going to fire this we're going to trigger it on the calendar page Add to cart, Facebook, it's going to be page view, page URL contains calendar, boom, save, 
and then complete registration is going to be FB complete registration Facebook same thing custom HTML we're going to come back to here and just look for complete registration boom complete registration triggering it's going to be on book thank you it's going to be a page view some page views page URL we're going to go to survey let's just check this link so survey for SS contains boom save so that should be good we're going to refresh this this should all be good to go now. Let's just make sure the calendar actually goes to the next page. So this is add to cart. Okay, so this is going to redirect. Complete registration. That works. So we're all good. That's uh, that's pretty much it, and that's how you.